In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can backup and restore a Postgres database. So to get started, you want to right click on the database that you want to backup, then select backup from the drop down and browse for the directory that you want to backup your database to. So here you're just going to specify a name for your backup and then from and choose a file type. So I'm going to be selecting backup file as backup. So demo back, right? So that's the name of my backup and then select save. So here, I'll be keeping the custom as default. You can choose between tar, plain, or directory. So I'm just going to hit backup to execute the process. Now I'm going to be deleting my database and then performing a restore. So I'm going to be selecting delete force and select delete. Now before you can restore your database, you need to create a shell database. So right click on database, create and select database. I'll be selecting demo. I'll be calling it DVD rental. Note the restore name doesn't have to be the same name that you back up the database as. Now under definition, if you wanted to store your database to a specific table space, you could select it from the table space directory. This is if you want your database to be stored on a different table space. For example, you have a table space that is on a data drive, right? But once you keep the default, it will just use whatever default table space is there. See, I'm just going to select OK to run the restore. So I just selected OK to create my database. Sorry about that. Now to restore your database, right click and then restore. Browse for your backup. Ensure that you select the correct format. So it was a custom backup. Now browse for the backup file. And it was the demo back that backup. Now let's select open and select restore. The restore process has been completed. Now let's refresh the DVD rental. Let's expand the schemas and let's expand tables to confirm that we are seeing the data. And that's basically how you perform a backup and restore using PG admin of your Postgres database. For more training, you can check out my Udemy courses. The link is in the description of this video.